Hey guys, Eamon here, back with another NRL video. We are checking out game two of State Origin Women's today. Um, yeah, we did game one a couple weeks back. Yeah, yeah, a couple weeks ago. Um, yeah, Sky Blues uh, won, I think it was 22-12, I believe. Um, yeah, yeah, 22-12, 22-10 maybe was the score, I think. Um, but yeah, so first off, I did, I got a comment on my last video, uh, game one of the men's uh, State Origin, saying that Maroons is actually pronounced Maroon, Maroons. Um, there's a bunch of history towards why it's pronounced that way, but yeah, I don't know how I didn't notice that through, like, the commentary or anything, but yeah, apparently it's called the Maroons. Hopefully that's not just you guys, like, trolling me in the comments or something, but it seemed to have a bunch of upvotes and stuff, so I'm assuming that's correct. Um, so the Maroons, um, Mar Maroon, yeah, Maroons. Um, yeah, so Sky Blue, Sky Blue's Maroons. Um, yeah, so, yeah, game one, game one was pretty sick. Uh, we had, what was her name, Chapman? Um, was it Chapman? I'm pretty sure it was Chapman. Uh, yeah, Jamie Chapman. Yeah, she was. She made some two like really sick plays like early on in the game, and that pretty much won the game for them there. Um, but yeah, I, I got a few comments. Um, one of my uh, one of the people in my Discord actually gave me a bunch of info about women's rugby or women's league. Um, and yeah, they were saying uh, a couple other notable notable players were the, both the fullbacks, uh, Tona Gatto is a former Aussie Australian Sevens gold medalist and won the Dally M in 2022. And then Upton for the Maroons is 2023 Dally M winner and is currently regarded as the best fullback. So I'm going to watch out for them. I don't, I don't have the team list in front of me for this game, so I'm not sure if maybe they got hurt or something, but we'll, we'll, I'll try to look out for them. Um, and then, yeah, uh, he, he also mentioned... Um, there's a couple like all-time greats on both sides as well, like Kezi Apps and Ali Brigginshaw are both like legends of a women's uh, women's league. So yeah, I'll try to look out for them. Um, yeah, should be a good game. And yeah, shout out, shout out. Is that, how you say your name? Gowie. 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 I think is how you say this guy's name. Yeah, shout out Gowie for that for the info. Probably be uh, referencing stuff he he told me in the uh, in the future because yeah. He gave me a lot of info. Actually, I don't even know if this is a. Yeah, I'm not actually sure if this is a, if this is a man or a woman that's uh, like, that told me this. But yeah, shout out to them. Yeah, and there's also some more info that I got actually before we hop into it. Um, yeah, you guys, you guys, let me know that the uh, the women's NRL it just doesn't start until um, it like starts up when the men's NRL ends. They kind of like do it in reverse, which that's a cool. That's a cool idea because it puts more focus on the women's side um, once once that uh, kicks off. So that, that's cool. So yeah, we'll definitely have more time to like check check the NRLW out um, with the NRL ending once that happens. So I think that that'd be like August, September. I think is is when it ends, right? When it, when it would start. So yeah, we'll definitely we'll try to incorporate some some of the women's side uh, going forward uh, once once the NRL is done, I guess. Um, but yeah, so yeah, make sure to join the Discord if you're not in there. Uh, like the video, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, yeah, hoping for a good game. I, I'm kind of hoping. I kind of want the Maroons to win this game, so it goes to a game three because game three winner take all. That's always that's always fun. Um, yeah, let's just hop into it. Oh yeah, and f uh, apologies if there's a watermark over the uh, the video. Um, I think did we have to do one for last time? I think we did. It's it's weird. The the NRL the, the last few weeks it seems like every other video I upload I need to put a watermark on it to get it to get it like not blocked so we'll, we'll see how it goes hopefully there's no watermark but if there is apologies um if it bugs you maybe just open the highlights in another tab if you can and watch them both at the same time i don't know i'll, I'll try to pause so there's no uh, issue with that all right let's hop into this what is well and truly enemy territory all right looks like it's raining the sound of fireworks. nice okay the maroons with okay yeah, maroons okay Lost in a series over a win, and we're heading to Townsville for a series decider. Oh, did they just say? Did they just imply that the series would be would end? If there wouldn't be a game three. That's not how it is in the men's, right? I believe in the men's there's a game three no matter what. So that's interesting. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is, this is Sky Blues territory and a W territory. Nice Chapman. <laughs> Crowd's going crazy. In 
Oh, there's Bregan shot. Okay. Oh, is that not a high hit? Maybe not. Is this the moment for New South Wales to register first points? All right, we're only 24 minutes in. Koenig. For extended highlights, that's kind of crazy. All right. So we're getting close. Oh, nice. Oh, she's right there. Nice. There we go. Keely Davis. Alright. She is snuggled. Yeah, just dove head first right there. Nice. Nice. So cool. That, that almost looked like it didn't go in. Alright, 6 0. Was that not the. Oh, no, that, okay. This number. Yeah, my bad. I had the wrong number. Okay, what is this highlight? Why is it just focused on her for the whole time? <laughs> what is this highlight? Why did they not cut this out of the highlight reel? That was so weird. That was just like 20 seconds just to focus on her for no reason. Anyways, okay. Well, the Maroons just can't go with the athleticism of, of the Blues. Whenever they got the footy, oh, the Blues, they that? just look likely so, what are they... to, to break, that was break the line or bend the line. Queensland really need to change it up here. Otherwise, this game could get away from them pretty quickly. Tackle by Joseph down low. Aiken over the right. top. Davis. Davis. Davis ripped the middle. Ooh. Well, that was in the head. Martin, Aiken with the tackle. <laughs> Last play before half time. Siren sounds. Oh yes, yeah, thirty-five minute half. So I forgot. I forgot about that. I forget what you guys said. If that's, I think that's just an origin thing. They don't. They don't do that in regular NRLW. From what I remember, you guys saying. All right. It's a really, really good game. The commentators are saying there wasn't a ton shown in this first half of uh, highlights here. Hopefully, yeah. That brings out the best in the yeah, I'd say there's there's a lot. There's six minutes instead of four minutes for the second half. Maybe more happens here. Ooh. Oh, she she's falling. Okay. okay, we're already halfway down the half. Okay, this, this, these highlights aren't like this is a weird highlight video. They're not showing a, a time. Ooh, that was a. She like choked her. It's a form to the throat. Ten away from the line. Brown. Alistair. All right, Brown's getting close. Good D. Last play. Brown. Last play. Brigham shot. Nice tie game. There's Brigham shot making a good play. Right there. She wants it, nice. and then a lovely little cutout pass to Sinead Suzuka. Ooh. Been testing Got poked in the Wales. neck there. She found a little bit of an edge. Yeah. Ooh, that's a tough angle. To ah, look at the wind and the rain. Jesus. Yeah, that, that was a hard one. All right. Yeah, 12 minutes left. Oh, is that not a high hit? I swear that was a high. Oh, she got it back. She stole it back. How often has she done that? That's on the tip sheet for Jess Surges. She was that she not a sorry guys, I'm gonna rewind here. If if, if those of you watching on your own tab, if, if this video has a bar mark, was this was this not a high hit? Like how is this not a high hit? Look at is that not a high tackle? Let me know. I I I would have assumed that's a high tackle, but Maybe not. Um, 
Yeah, let me let me know what the rule is on that. I think I think I might have something confused about that, so let me know. He's had the ball stolen from her. What a play! Just surges. Mm. How often has she done? She's not complaining, so I guess there wasn't. That's not an issue there. Oh, her leg got fucked up. Queensland have just scored. They've done a brilliant job, job to defend them. Her leg was already kind of messed up like, like with all the... Yeah. What a play from Jess Sergis. Yeah, good strip. Yeah, I, I know you can steal the ball if you're the only one touching the player, right? Oh, nice. Bang. There we go, okay. It's not looking good for Queensland. Jeez, this is absolutely pouring. Oh, what happened to, what happened to that? Let me see this. Is that number three? Oh, what happened? She's like holding her neck. Let me see this. I think it was number three on the maroon, maroons. She got, she looked like she got hurt like, pretty bad. Let's see. What happened here? Yeah, what? Let me know what happened to number three there. She looked like she was like severely in. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> She's laughing. <laughs> yeah, it, the conditions are not ideal. That was, that was crazy. Ooh. Nice. Right, two for one. All right. That's actually a huge that they missed that because, yeah, they're only six back now. There's time. There's time. Oh. Oh! Wow! Aiken! What a play! Taryn Aiken. That was sick. That was sick. Mm -hmm. Alright, are they gonna hit are they gonna hit the goal? That, yeah, that was sick. Yeah, jeez. Nice. So it shouldn't be too crazy of an angle for the for the two points. Yeah, Taryn Aiken, what a player. Was that, that was sick, yeah. She was looking past the whole way and then just cut in. <laughs> Ooh, come on. Nice. Nice. Okay, is there overtime in this? I don't actually know. I feel like I have read that there is a draw possibility. I'm not sure, though, on the rules of... Uh... Yeah. Or ten all seven minutes left. And they're doing this again with the highlight where they just like hover over someone for the whole time. Okay, they just said golden point, okay, so there's golden point if it uh if it's tied. Under seven minutes to go. All locked up at ten points all. Good hands there from Tidesel now. And then Golden Point is just, it's a, it's like five minutes each half in Golden Point or something like that if I remember correctly, and then it can be a draw after that, I believe. What's been a remarkable effort by the Maroons because honestly, the but their last two visits to the other end of the field, good run. Nope. Oh no. Oh man. <laughs> They're talking shit. <laughs> Let's go for the point. Wow, she got it. Wow. Wow. Two minutes left. Two minutes left. That's crazy. <laughs> look, oh, dude, man. The camera angles when it's like on the field, you can see the rain and stuff, makes it look so much crazier. Man, I, is that too far for a kick? It might be. Yeah. Oh, no. Shit, yeah, they got to they just, yeah, she's, oh, jeez, there, there we go, jeez, that was wild, Chapman's a tank, though, she was just, like, went through everyone for a second there, all right, let's go Maroons, okay, we got the game three, that is awesome. Yeah, yeah. The commentators are saying that they were they got dominated the whole game, but managed managed to win it still. 
All right, so that was game two of the Women's State Origin. Yeah, definitely a way better game than uh, than the men's game, uh, game one, because, yeah, obviously the men's game was kind of kind of over at, as it started pretty much. But, yeah, so, yeah, game two, awesome one-point win, crazy kick with, in the pouring rain with, like, pressure on her. Um, yeah, that was sick. That was sick. So, yeah, we have a game three. Uh, I don't know when that is. Is that in, like, is it in, like, three weeks? Let me check. Uh Women's State of Oregon Game Three. Yeah, June June twenty seventh. Okay. Yeah, so like in like three weeks, that would be Game Three. So we'll definitely be reacting to that because that is awesome. Game Three, obviously having like a any type of win, winner take all is always is always really cool to watch. Um, yeah. So the commentators seem to say that yeah, the the Blues were like pretty much dominating the whole game and just like couldn't. I just couldn't score. Maybe the weather played a factor in that. Some some misplays and stuff caused them to lose. But uh, Marone showed some heart, got it done, tied tied it up for game three. Um, is game three where where would game three be? Is it is it a Mar is it a Marone's home game for game three, or do they play like a is there like a neutral? I guess there can't really be a neutral site, right? Yeah, that probably isn't a neutral site. Um, um, yeah, good stuff. Uh, do I hmm, who do I want to win for game three? I don't really know if I have a preference for who wins. I guess I want the better team to win in it based on what the commentators were saying and based off game one, the Blues are the better team, so they should win game three. Um, I guess it'd be an upset if the Maroons won game three. Just, yeah. So, well, yeah. Just we, I want a good game. That's all I care about. I'm not really picking a side. There's no point in me picking a, picking a side. Which side actually would be closer to Canada? Maybe that'd be funny. To, let me look at that. All right, so I'm apparently pretty dumb. This whole time, I thought Queensland and the New South Wales were like the left and right side of Australia. Uh, apparently, I did not go to go to school or learn any geography whatsoever. So Queensland's like the top right of Australia. New South Wales is the bottom right. Um, so yeah, I was gonna say what which which one is closer to Canada? I mean, I can cheer for them based just based on location. And it looks like yeah, Queensland would be closer to Canada. Yeah, it's like uh, yeah. Yeah, so Queensland is closer. I don't know if that would be... Yeah, there's not really a point in me picking a team to cheer for for this, other than just like, yeah, uh, I want, just want a good game. But yeah, I guess maybe I can lean towards Queensland just because they're closer, like, location-wise might be fun for that. I don't know. Um, anyways. Yeah. We'll just... Uh, dude. Oh my God, can you guys see my eyes right now? What is going on? Oh. My eyes feel like they're like... Holy smokes. They just like won't stop watering all out of nowhere. I'm sure you guys have had that happen to you. Holy smokes. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not I'm not crying right now because of how good that game was. My eyes are just messed up. Alright. Oh man. <laughs> what is, what the hell? Jesus. Okay. Damn. Alright. Okay. We're good to go. Alright. Make sure to join the Discord if you're not in there. It's uh, getting more and more active each each week. Um, mainly, yeah, mainly NRL stuff at the moment. Uh, but I know that some of you guys are in there for AFL and stuff. But I, I've kind of been slacking on my AFL stuff lately. So, uh, yeah, not not too active in there. Um, yeah, uh, make sure to sub if you're not sub. Like the video, comment your thoughts on the game, all that stuff. Were any of you guys there at the game? Uh, I'd be very curious uh, to feel, hear about the atmosphere. Maybe some of you were at both games. Um, yeah, I'd be curious to know the, the atmosphere, and um, yeah, it seems like it gets lots of support, so that's good. And yeah, we'll, but obviously with the, with the rain, the rain is pretty crazy. Um, sports are always cool to watch in the rain, though, because it just adds like another element to. Uh, I guess it adds more of an element of randomness to the game when it when it's the, when the weather's bad, but it, it's still it's good it's good viewing seeing uh, like we saw the one kicker uh, completely wipe out, which is that like. I get that, that actually that lost in the game the weather right there lost in the game her slipping from the crazy uh, wetness of the field um anyways this, this outro has been crazy long all right have a good one <laughs>